Imagine you have gone to a market to buy chocolates. There are three stores in the market. Store 1, Store 2 and Store 3. Let's make two assumptions. Assumption 1. You only have $10 notes. Assumption 2. Each store had some specific principles to sell their chocolates. Rules of Store 1 are Minimum cost of a chocolate is $10 and $10 notes are accepted in store 1. Luckily you have $10 which are acceptable in store 1. So it is possible for you to buy a chocolate from store 1. Rules of store 2 are Minimum cost of a chocolate is $50 and $10 notes are accepted in store 2. Even though you don't have $50 notes, you have $5-$10 notes. So by giving these $5-$10 notes, you can buy a chocolate from store 2. Rules of store 3 are Minimum cost of a chocolate is $100. Minimum acceptable denomination is $100 and $10 notes are not accepted. You don't have $100 notes but you have 10 $10 notes. Despite of having 10 $10 notes, you can't buy a chocolate from store 3 because store 3 won't accept them. So buying a chocolate from store 3 is impossible for you. What do you do now? Well, by observing all this, a wise man installed a money exchange counter near store 3. He used $100 notes to his customers by taking $10 notes from them. You may actually think that you can get a $100 note by giving 10 $10 notes, but the money exchanger demands 12 $10 notes to give a $100 note in return. This is your only option because you don't have $100 notes. You can't refuse the offer because you need the chocolate from store 3. So you have to buy the $100 note despite the extra cost. Observe that the cost of the chocolate had not changed. Still, you ended up paying more than the original amount. What's the reason behind this extra cost? Even though the cost of the chocolate remained constant, the cost of $100 note has increased. If the demand for the chocolate of the store 3 increases, the money exchanger will proportionally increase the cost of the $100 note. Because more number of people will try to buy the $100 note. Let's apply this concept to two countries, India and USA. Let's compare all the characters to make this conversation sound more meaningful. Whenever the demand for the chocolates of the store 3 increases, the value of the $100 note increases. Similarly, whenever the demand for the US products increases, the value of the US dollar increases, which means that more INR is to be given in exchange of USD. This increase or decrease in the value of the country's currency depending on the demand of the goods and other factors is called the exchange rate. More the demand of a country's products, more is the value of the country's currency. 